Welcome back to Drahala Homestead. It's Danielle, and I'm going to give you a garden tour. This is mid-May for us. It's my first tour of the year, so I thought we better get it out because a lot of things are happening in the garden. It's early morning here. The sun is just coming out after a couple days of being hidden. Lots of rain. So we live in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia in Zone 7. We are uh, homesteading, homeschooling, um, home dairying <laughs> family of, of eight. We have six kids, me and my husband and our six kids. So I will show you what we have going on in our garden. Here are the potatoes. I put them in a little bit early this year and there's I uh, still need to hill a little bit more probably. I'm not sure. They're looking pretty good. We have beside them, my husband bought fig trees. And we've got lots of weeds, right? One, two, three, four, five fig trees in this little row. He put this barrier around it because of the rabbits. They are really bad here. And then I have five beds in all. By the way, I'm in Virginia Shando Valley, seven, zone seven. And this is the middle of May. I put blueberries in a pot because I keep killing blueberries. I want to see if I can control the environment a little bit more in the pot. Find out what I've been doing wrong. Also, hydrangeas are in a pot. Which I really love hydrangeas too, but I've killed them in the past. So don't hold my breath. I'm not holding my breath. At the beginning of the first bed, I have a huge sage plant in the center that I trimmed all the way back. And then I put rhubarb, one on each side of that. I am notorious for not <laughs> thinning vegetables. I don't like to thin vegetables. I don't like to thin carrots or beets. So, yeah, that's my cardinal sin. I don't see that I'm changing it real quick either. So in the center of this bed all the way down through is asparagus. This is the second year of asparagus, so we are not going to pick it this year. We're going to wait till next year. So um, then we have the, the beets and a couple onions. Oh, I have onions. I also overcrowd my beds totally. So I have cat. Yeah. <laughs> I have onions in the very front of this bed too. Some garlic right there. Uh, carrots got messed up. I'm wondering if it wasn't from this thing right here. I think he came in and dug around in my bed. Yay. A little bit of kale, celery in front of there. It's not doing great. We came out yesterday and picked most of the kale. And then we have radishes that are totally done. I need to come out and get them. And then I'm going to put carrots in the same spot. And then look how gorgeous these, these asparagus are. I can't wait to pick them. And then the bachelor's button. Now I did not plant everything from seed. I started a lot from seed. But some things I got from the greenhouse. Uh, chives there with some grass growing. Ooh, yeah, strawberries look good. And the beans. And then all the way down the front of this we have onions and then peas. Peas. And so just to add more to this bed, I've already put tomato plants in. There's one right there. Um, all the way down this trellis, cause, or this wall. This is where I'm going to have my tomatoes so we've just started to get flowers on our peas we'll be eating them soon another chive plant I really like chives my beds are so crowded but it helps me keep the weeds down so not upset about that so then this is our second bed I have some squash plants in the first calendula I believe I planted a lot of calendula um, oh, what was that foxglove maybe hmm. no I forget somebody tell me in the comments below and then I have peppers interspersed here uh, throughout this bed all the way to the end where the oregano is I have rhinoculus in the center rhinoculus they thrive in the very beginning of spring um, so when this temperature starts sticking above 70 to 80 they will die but I'm hoping that they will come back next year. So I've got a couple of those. Most of them, that's the only one that's still alive. The rest of them have already died. And let's see, more of, I don't remember what that is. That's not borage. I thought it was borage. It's not. I forget. Is it foxglove? I don't remember. 
cilantro between the bed there, some yarrow right there. I've never grown that before. I'm excited to see what that looks like. Snapdragons that have started from seed, which look like they're doing really good. And artichokes. I only got two artichokes. You have to plan those out accordingly. Like real, You have to start them indoors pretty early. And then they have to have a couple frosts outside um, before they will actually produce in the same year. So I, I enjoy doing it, but it's not like... It's a must. I just I think it's fun to plant. Um, this trellis has, or yeah, it's a trellis. It goes all the way over. Has my some more peas, snap peas, but they got eaten up pretty bad. So I also put my cucumelon plants from the garden. Or, I mean, out here. I started them inside. Focus. There. They're so cute. I hope they survive. Uh, this is the first year that I've gotten it to grow in several years, so I'm happy about that. Front of this garden bed also has onions all the way down. And I planted cucumber, no, cucumbers on this bed. And anything that's on this side will also be on the other side of the trellis. So I have cucumbers there that I started just from seed. They're starting to pop up. And there's cucumelons. This is, it's just a really petite plant it's very cute and then we have dahlias I need to trim back there and then to the third bed more bee balm I, I like growing bee balm we obviously have bees so bee balm here I haven't put anything on this trellis yet I don't know why I need to do that so this trellis is not planted out yet either side I think I'm going to do more cucumbers like canning cucumbers like yeah and this has onions all the way on the front and in the very center of this bed we have cabbages these beds are four feet apart or four feet wide so I fit a lot in there it's probably not the best but it's worked this is my fifth year with these beds so there's um oh chrysanthemums they, I planted those last year and they have come back, so I'm excited about that. Some random garlic that I did not get out last year and I didn't plant this year. More dahlias, more garlic. This is St. John's wort between the bed right here. It's pretty early. I mean, it's not like crack of dawn or anything, but it's pretty early for us. It's like 8 a.m., so I don't usually come out with the camera this time, but it'll be all right. So if my voice is scratchy, haven't drank all my coffee yet. And then this plant is a Hypericum. So St. John's wort and Hypericum. I feel like they're really closely related. Like they even look a lot alike. Maybe they're the same plant, but they were called two different things. So if you know, let me know. I did not plant even a single sunflower, but I have them popping up all over the garden. Um, just from being dropped, the seeds being dropped by birds from the past couple years or just being dropped you know this whole trellis here or wall has tomatoes lots of varieties of tomatoes it's a little easier for me to tell once they pop up but I planted um, Paul's Paul Robeson's one of my favorite um, Kellogg's breakfast what else Dr. Witchie's uh, lots of different varieties that I'm a really big fan of I also did some Amish paste I didn't have great germination with that so um, and weeds, just in case you think it's perfect. Marigolds, some basil. Um, sometimes I leave weeds in my garden because plantain is not quite a weed and because we have two dogs. So if it's growing in the yard, there's a good chance there. Someone might have peed on it at some point. So if it's in my garden bed, it's pretty safe. So I like to leave that in there. Um, I think that's all. More bee balm down there. And these might have been stunted. I started them from seed. I do this a lot. I just, I push the limits and that's okay. Uh, this fennel, <laughs> I cut it back to nothing. And this is how big it's gotten in what? 10 minutes, or 10 minutes, like two weeks. Uh, so on flowers, this has my eggplants, which are already starting to get flea um, beetles. Ah, yeah, great. But I'm not a huge fan of eggplant, so if it distracts, it's a deterrent, that will work too. And then geraniums in the center of the bed. And then this was my kale. 
and a few random tomato plants. My kale, we picked all we could yesterday, almost entirely, all of it, because it's perfect right now and it's about to get hotter. So went ahead and picked all that. And, oh, I forget what that plant is. Hmm, I might have to look at it. This I bought, so let's see. Coneflower, oh yeah, yeah. That's not the name I call it though. What is, uh, what is the name of that? Uh, oh, Echinacea, yeah, Echinacea. I am going to put on this trellis uh, lima beans. Um, and then the next trellis has loofah. And the last trellis doesn't have anything yet. I'm going to figure something out. <laughs> Probably like, um, I don't know, spaghetti squash is what one we really like, or acorn squash. But I haven't planted that yet, so I have two more. Yeah, that's good. Lufa, parsley, mm, some dill. Yeah, all these random just sunflowers. And I'm not going to take them out. I can't do it. Don't have it in my heart to do that. They've persevered so long. <laughs> and that's a chrysanthemum at the very end. Then I have some lemon verbena. A couple random pepper plants in the center in between those beds. A couple tomatoes in between. And this hasn't been planted out. These tomatoes that have popped up here are all volunteers from last year. And then the very last row here is tomatoes that got planted out they're not big they're not huge and See, there's a spider web. is there a spider web? Just, it's okay and then i have mint on this side of my garden bed that is coming. trying to come in my bed we also have tilled this plot up we have not planted it yet but this is going to be our okra we're going to do a whole section i don't know how much how many square foot that is a huge section of okra because we love it we never have enough and I'm kind of running out of room in my in my beds we just keep expanding <laughs> we keep expanding everything so we are going to plant all of this in okra but okra really loves the hot hot humid weather so we are not behind in that I don't mind and the ground has been so wet lately we need to retill and then plant um, I started I think 60 plants inside okra plants but we might even get more. We'll see. Uh, okra, it grows to be almost like a tree. It, it's huge by the time. So this is not great soil. We have planted here, tried to, very small patch before. Um, so we'll see. Okra's not as particular as some plants. So I really want enough to actually put away. So here are the David Austin Bathsheba, I believe, is this one. It's definitely my first to bloom every year. And then I kind of forget what that one is, but it's kind of, it's the reverse. So it's got the lighter on the outside Mommy, and then the, the apricot in, Mommy, the, in the center. It's going so much. Yeah, that I have strawberries down below longer. it. I need to weed so bad. So this, this one is, needs to go a little longer. You think? Okay. This one doesn't. You want to pick it then? It's ready. <gasps> Strawberry. Good job. Yay! So I'm not an expert in any way, nor did I clean this up to show you. So this is real life. Oh.